I am Ferdinand Marcos, and I am the President of the Republic of the Philippines. I stand today on behalf of 110 million Filipinos. Hello people and hello universe. It's me again guys. Shout out sa inyong lahat mga kababayan. Itong hearing po guys sa kamara tungkol po dito sa franchise ng SMNI. At dito pag uh, ito po yung uh, pagpapakalat ng fake news against the speaker no yung 1.8 billion na uh, expenses niya daw na pang travel sa sa loob ng isang taon which is fake news po yan. Now matutunghayan po natin dito mga kababayan ang pagtatanong dito kay Ka Eric. Mm -hmm. Kung may marong may rong mang uh, natutuwa dito mga kababayan walang iba kundi ang makabayan bulok. Mm -hmm. So pakinggan po natin and uh, before that don't forget to like hit the button bell para lagi kayo update sa aking mga upload video. Bye, 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 and baboos! Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Magandang uh, hapon po sa ating lahat. Um, Mr. Chair, I just want to uh, start off from where we ended uh, last hearing um, with regards to the um, news that um, Jeffrey Sellis uh, mentioned in their program. Uh, Mr. Sellis, are you with us today? Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. Um, when we ended our hearing uh, last week, um, the statements I released was that we were treading in very dangerous grounds as the source, the resource person mentioned that his source emanated from the Senate and felt that it was important for us to determine who that source was because it was also determined in last hearing that the statements issued by Mr. Sellis in his program were, was false. And if indeed um, it is from the Senate, um, interparliamentary relations between the House and the Senate uh, are now uh, put in question. Because para lumalabas, may nagilik ng hindi makatotohan ng balita uh, mula sa Senado patungkol sa House of Representatives. At nung December 3, if I may be allowed, Mr. Chair, um, Senate President Subiri issued a statement. And if I may be allowed to read, he stated, I have no knowledge whatsoever of anyone from the Senate leaking information to any reporter on any House matter. Until the concerned resource speaker names a Senate employee, there is no reason to believe that these allegations are anything more than intrigues being sown to create controversy and fake news. We respect interparliamentary courtesy and would not want to put a rift in the strong partnership that we have with the House, with the leadership and the members of the House. I would suggest that the House continue their investigation until they get to the bottom of this accusation and press for the concerned person to reveal the name of their alleged source in the Senate. Otherwise, the House can cite them in contempt. If they can prove it, it's an employee of the Senate, then we will initiate disciplinary action on those involved quote-unquote, from Senate President um, Miguel Subiri. So now, Mr. Celis, I would just like to reiterate my question. Source, please. Mr. Chairman, honorable members of this committee, may I be allowed, please, to manifest a statement of clarification before I proceed to answer the question of Honorable Congressman J.G. Suarez because I believe that the statement that I am going to make as an opening premise to the answer that I should be giving to the Honorable Congressman will settle everything and clarify before the nation a very important statement that I want to make. Mr. Chairman, may I be allowed, please? Uh, before I allow you, I'd like to remind everyone that uh, we uh, your oath Yes. has been uh, administered in the last uh, session. 
and this uh, and will continue up to today. Yeah. So you're under oath. Yeah. So lahat po sabi po natin ay ang katotohanan. Yeah. Okay. Can I proceed, Mr. Chairman? Yes, you may. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Honorable Ako. Meron pong katanungan si uh, Honorable Suarez. Di po ba? Opo. Eh, hindi ba dapat sagutin lang ng resource person or witness yung katanungan muna? Okay. Bago siya mag-explain? Mr. Okay. Chair? Uh, thank you for the reminder, Congressman Hakob, sir. And to the members of this committee, I feel it is my right to state before this committee and the August Chamber of Congress that this committee is not above the law. No one in government is above the law. We are a government of laws. I am protected under the Soto law. I have the constitutional right. I requested per record that I may be given competent advice and assistance of a legal counsel and such right is guaranteed by the Constitution. And such right is also stipulated clearly in Section 12 of the Governing House Rules pertaining to committee hearing and conduct of investigation. And even if I am not in a court trial, the right to seek out counsel advice and assistance from the counsel is a part of principle of due process, a principle guaranteed by the Constitution. And I believe before I answer any further question, may I manifest respectfully and humbly before this committee, that all the statements, even after under oath, in the absence of competent legal advice and assistance previously, may be granted to be stricken off the record because I believe my constitutional rights speaker, were violated. Point of order. Uh, the answer and manifestation of Mr. Sellers is out of order. He is out of order. Because you cannot dictate in this house and you cannot move. Only members of the, you ask members of this house. Yes, I am explaining. No, sir. I am uh, not moving. Oh, your manifestation is out of order. I am requesting. Do not pick your heart. No, I am not picturing. I am standing up for my right. No, oh, yeah, sir, no. I am standing up for my right. Remember, I we might cite you in contempt. And so be it. I you honor. You challenge us? Yes. Oh, if that will be seen in the nation. Na walang yes. karapatan ang mga invited guests dito na magpahayag, Your Honor. Yeah. With your respect to you. Allah. Sir, Chair. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair. I'm moving to the doctor. We're out of order. And what's the, what's the position of the chair? Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Uh, I, uh, I, yes, uh, the Honorable Ako is recognized and I understand okay. isya sabi po ni uh, ng ating mga ano ng ating uh, uh, bisita pero alam po ninyo uh, last, kung ang ginagamit nyo po ay yung hearing nung huli at wala kay representasyon hindi po namin kasalanan Kasalanan po ng mga abogado ng SMNI dahil sila mismo on record ang nagsabi na they are here to represent SMNI and not the anchors because dumistansya nga po sila. Ang sabi nila, hindi po namin kapaho ang bigyan ng representasyon ang, ang uh, anchor. That's why nung humingi po kayo, si, ang pinaliwanan ko, hindi po pwede sila magdepensa sa inyo, dapat po humingi kayo ng iba. Lang, Dahil okay. hindi ko pwede sila ang magdepensa because they are on record. Under oath, ang sabi nila, kami abogado ng SMNI at hindi kami abogado ng mga angkor. Klaro po yan, Tyreek. Uh, you, you cannot. You're not allowed. I'm going, yes. Uh, I to explain why I type him out of order. Because he manifested that the previous records should be taken out of records and as resource person, they are not allowed. Your Honor, I am they, going to be detained in this chamber and I am keeping myself before the country in process. My... 
Mr. Chair, hold the border. Mr. Chairman, up. Mr. Chairman, hold the border. Mr. Chair, hold the border. Mr. Chairman, give the border. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Hold it. There is a point of order, the Honorable uh, Dan Fernandez. The Honorable Dan. Mr. Chairman, point of order. Mr. Chairman. Out of order is all about your manifestation to strike on how. What about the Honorable? What about the Honorable? What about the Honorable? What about the Honorable? Mr. Chairman, I would just like to correct. I am not stopping him to issue statement. What I'm saying is, and what I'm pointing out of order is the manifestation that the previous statement, that the previous record, should be taken out of order. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, allowed to do it. Point of order. Point of order. May we remind the research speakers and the members of this committee to observe the proper decorum. Correct. If the chairman acknowledges a certain personality, let him speak and don't interrupt the the members of this committee while the member is given the right to to speak. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Is recognized. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sellis, please be reminded that in this committee and this house, we have Mr. rules Sellis. to follow. Hindi po ba namin sinusunod yung mga rules? Matanong ko ako. Yes, sir. I oh, feel that is my... I would like to remind you mm. that these rules are supposed to be followed by members of this committee and by the witnesses or resource persons to be present. And one of these rules is that before you can speak, you ask permission from the chairman. Kami nga, hindi kami nagsasalita na walang permission yung chairman. You better follow that rule. Otherwise, mapilitan akong gawin yung hindi ko dapat gawin. Dapat kasi tahimik ito si Silis eh. Donor Paul. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair. Okay. Well, I think uh, Donor Ball Ace Barbers. I was, I was raising a point of or order earlier, but... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I didn't uh, hear you that. It's yes, okay, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, kasi uh, gusto ko lang uh, i-refresh yung memory ng ating resource person na no one is curtailing your right. In fact, kaya ka nga nandito, binibigyan ka ng panahon, ng oras para magsalita. But do not play to the crowd saying that your rights are violated in this committee, it's not. Tayo ay nasa demokrasya, di ba? I believe you were a former member of the NPA. Ano ba? And alam mo kung ano yung pinaglalaban natin dito, di ba? So, never, ever insult the committee, much more any of the members of this committee. Kasi medyo yun ang upfront na upfront sa amin. And do not challenge us to do what we feel is right to do to you because you might not like it. I, I'm just uh, to, uh, going to remind him of that, Mr. Chair. Thank you. The Honorable Ace Warbers. Any Mr. other Chair? member that would like to? Hala. I believe that this is an aid or uh, an inquiry in aid of legislation and resource persons should be reminded that they should observe proper decorum. I'd just like to remind all the resource persons that under Section 11, this inquiry, or for that matter, Congress has the power to contempt. The committee may punish any person for contempt by a vote of two-thirds of the members present, there being a quorum. And there are six grounds for contempt. One of which is letter E, acting in a disrespectful manner towards any member of the committee or any misbehavior in the presence of the committee. So, Mr. Chair, we do not want to cite a resourceful, a resource person for contempt. Uh, kaya nakikiusap kami sa iyo, uh, ka Eric, na kompende. Please respect this committee and observe proper decorum. Nasa rules po natin na you cannot speak uh, if you are not recognized by the chair. Actually, naka-strike one na po kayo, Ka Eric, kanina. 
you were not recognized by uh, the chair but you kept on talking so again may I advise ka eric we are not suppressing your rights but also respect this committee and observe proper decorum thank you very much mr chair if i may continue um, there was a question raised by the honorable Suarez. alam po niyo ka eric kung meron po kayong karapatan may karapatan din pong committee dato tayo may karapatan dito so ang tanong ko Yes or no? May tanong si Congressman J.J. Suarez. Huwag na po natin pahabain. Yes or no? I will refuse to answer your honors, not because I disrespect this committee, but I will invoke my right guaranteed by the Constitution because I believe this committee cannot be above the law, especially the Constitution. Um, can, Mr. I, can I just no, say, no, J.J. Suarez? Yes. Um, what, what right is that you are invoking, uh, Mr. Selig? The Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights guarantees me for the guarantee of due process, and uh, even the SOTO law, and even the House rules. Constitution, question yes. Constitutionally uh, guaranteed rights, Your Honor, Mr. Yeah. Chairman, cannot Mr. be violated by any branch of the government. Uh, uh, Ka Eric, may katanungan. Um, is Mr. that here? Uh, alam po ninyo, Ka Eric, pero uh, ba kayo kasamang abogado na yun? May I answer po? Uh, that's why I, I am requesting since last uh, hearing that I may be given the counsel. Now, I will hire. 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 I will Dapat kasi nagdala ito si Ka Eric eh. I'm, I'm hiring today, this afternoon, Attorney Mark Pilintino, na tanong yung sopliko. Are the lawyers uh, accepting that uh, mandate? Because you remember, in the last hearing, it's manifested that you are not representing Ka Eric and the anchors because of the disclaimer issue. Ato uh, are you accepting? I'm accepting your order. Attorney Rolex sopliko. I am accepting you. Okay. So, thank you very much. So, everything that will be said. Oh, the go. No, Ka Eric. May abogado na po kayo. Yes or no? May I request again? Yes. Uh, Congressman Honorable J.G. Suarez to refer to the question, yes. please. Now, with the presence of your your lawyer, um, it's just you know, a little bit uh, ironic that uh, in the past few days, You've been on air talking about uh, the hearing, talking about your opinions on the, about the hearing, and together with uh, Attorney Mark Tolentino, I think there was a, a few episodes na magkasama pa kayong dalawa. So you're very vocal and you're very opinionated about your position. And last hearing, I just want to remind you, you apologized to the committee because the statements that you issued in your um, show Kasama, kasama, kasama ang bayan? Tama po ba yan? Yes, yeah, kasama ang bayan. Humingi ka mo lang paumanhin dahil yung sinabi mong 1.8 billion ay walang katotohanan. Ginamin niyo yun. Ngayon, sinabi mo, ang source mo ay galing sa Kongreso. Sinabi ko mula sa House of Representatives, ang sabi niyo po ay hindi po House. Dalawa po yung House. Congress at Senate. Sinabi nyo, kinonfirm nyo na lalaki na taga-Senado. Ngayon po, naglabas na po ng statement, mismong Senate President na. Ang nagsasabi, hindi na ito nanggagaling sa amin, although I am pressing hard that I want you to reveal that, sir, because we want to find out the truth. Uh, Mr. Celis, truth and nothing is more important than the truth so I'm asking you nicely who is your source may I qualify uh, your honor Mr. Chairman may I be allowed to speak yes uh, but before that I'd like to remind you and the lawyers huh? that under section 13 the participation of counsel in this hearing for the witness during the hearing and while the witness is testifying shall be limited to advising the legal rights of the uh, of the witness. Is that clear? Attorney Tolentino and Attorney Suplico. 
Yes, okay. Dior. That's the only limited to that. Wala ko tayong coaching dito, ha? Yes. Eric Eric. Yes, sir. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for the recognition. Uh, Mr. Chairman, sorry, sir. Please answer straight yeah. directly, ha? Wala ko tayong tuligoy na sagot ko dito. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Can I say something? Okay. Uh, can I say something? Yes. Before you take the order? Yeah. No. Go ahead, go ahead. No. Please. It's not to be enlightened. Uh, what is the decision of... What's your decision regarding the prior motion made by by Congressman Paduano on whether to support the point of order? No. Oh, you yeah, yeah, made the point of order. So he okay. was declaring him out thank of you, order. Thank you, thank you. Thank uh, you. Yes, Leo. Yes, proceed. Yes or no? Yep. Thank you, po, Mr. Chairman. Please answer it directly. Ha? Wag tayo I will not answer it because I am protected by law as per advice and conference. With my lawyers here, uh, I am protected by the Soto law unless the Soto law is repealed. I will be uh, under the protection of the Soto law. Republic at number 53. Mr. Chair, okay. Mr. And Mr. the Chair. previous statements made, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman, please, were made without the competent advice of legal counsel. That's why I was requesting humbly for this honorable committee chaired by Congressman Tambunting that all those testimonies regarding the testimonies I made here can be stricken off the record if it may be considered as a request. Okay. Because those are admis inadmissible. Okay. Ang tanong po, lagi niyo sinasabi yung Soto Law eh. Anong pong portion ng Soto Law ang ito ko yun? Anong particular provision sa Soto Law? Basa po. I will, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I will request my counsel to give me the particular provision or they may be allowed to Reference the particular no, provision. We are requesting you. I don't have the copy of the SOTO Then I will suggest that the council give him a yeah. copy of the SOTO law. Okay. Because we do not, you're only supposed to, like I said earlier, hindi ko kayo pwede magsalta. Ayan mo salta si, si Kairi. Mr. Chairman, will I be allowed to read uh, the pertinent provision from the SOTO law? Without prejudice, uh, this is section 1 uh, of 11.452, as amended. Without prejudice to his inability or ability under the civil and criminal laws, any publisher, owner, or duly recognized or accredited journalist, whether reporter, writer, contributor, opinion, writer, editor, columnist, manager of media, or other media practitioner involved in the writing, editing, production, and dissemination of news or mass circulation of any print, broadcast, wire service organization, or electronic mass media, including cable TV, television, and its variants, cannot be compelled to reveal the source of any news item, report, or information appearing or being reported or disseminated through other or the said media which was related in confidence or reported in confidence. Above mentioned media practitioners unless the court or the House of Representatives or the Senate or any committee of Congress finds that such revelation is demanded by the National Security of the State. Uh, uh, Eric, your order. Hello, may I make a chair para baliwanag? Mr. Chairman, can I explain the no. provision? Well, 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 I will have to answer first the position raised by the by the witness. Uh, so, ang unang provision na binyo, accredited journalist. Kaya ba yung accredited journalist? Uh, Aka Eric, kayo po ang tinatanong po. Kayo po ba yung accredited journalist? The accreditation or the license to practice journalism does not require any uh, particular organization or government entity to give us license or accreditation for broadcast. If you are referring, Mr. Chairman, to KBP, membership to KBP is voluntary. KBP is not an absolute regulatory power for broadcast. So, ano, we are like an NGO and private so, ano organization. Pong, ano pong basihan nyo, uh, basihan ng provision niyan, nung sinabi niya kailangan accredited, is kayo nagsasahay itong batas? 
kaya kayo nagsasayit ng prohibition. Mr. Chairman, accredited journalist, hindi, hindi mo kayo, sino dapat mag-accredit sa inyo? The seminar is an accredited and franchise granted media. And therefore, the prerogative in the decision for editorial decision who can broadcast or cannot broadcast in the station rest with the franchise granted to them. Therefore, hindi po kami required na maghingi ng uh, ayuntulot sa gobyerno na mag-broadcast kami doon. Dahil kami po ay bahagi ng isang media organization na may legitimate existence as granted by franchise. Yes, but remember, may disclaimer. Ang sabi ng SMNI, hindi po nila pananagutan ang gagawin nyo. At hindi na nga ro kayo empleyado, sabi nila. So, ergo, hindi ko, hindi ko namin agad-agad kaya tanggapin yung inyong mong kahit. Pakalawa, I would like to remind you that this is a house inquiry which is provided for by the SOTO law. And third, tatanungan ko, security of state, binanggit nyo. Ano po ibig nyo? Ito ba yung security of state? Tingin nyo itong issue po. Which is an exception. Ang 1.8 billion na pagtatanong ko po, Your Honors, Mr. Chairman, ay hindi po threat to national security. Kapag ito po'y tinatanong ng mga media practitioners at ng mamamayan patungkol sa tamang pangangalaga sa pundo ng bayan. And I believe Congress is not exempted from public transparency and accountability in the disposal of public funds. Alam po ninyo. Is that an issue of public transparency and accountability? Yes. Yeah. Uh, huli ang katangan. Alam po niyo yung security state sa, sa amin. Ito po yung sinabi niyo na empleyado ng Senado ang nagbigay. Sa amin, yan po ay seguridad ng ating uh, institusyon, seguridad ng ating bayan. So, so yeah. kaya po, ito po ay hindi niyo po pwede isight ang sotolo. Mabuti po, malaman niyo na po ang posisyon at ito'y pinag-aralan po natin, may abogado po kayo, hindi po kami mga abogado dito, may mga researchers po kami. At ang Soto Law ay hindi po applicable dito sa sinasight nyo. Sa tatlong tiyanong po, pare-pareho, hindi po pwede yan. The Honorable J.J. Suarez, you, very much. you are recognized. So thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, so let's just um, go back to points that have already been established. Number one, the statement that you issued were false. You admitted it and you apologized for it last hearing. Number two, you mentioned that your source is from Senate. And Caselis, Mr. Celis, the law that you have just stated that you sought to use to protect your right and not to reveal your source apparently has been ruled uh, cannot be applied. So therefore, I'm asking you again, uh, dahil may kinalaman na ito, may mabigat po ang kinalaman, ang, ang repercussions nito. Ah. You're talking about interparliamentary relationships between the House of Representatives and between the Senate. None other than the Senate President has already issued a statement about this. So I don't think you see the gravity of the statements that you have issued between both houses in Congress. Now, Mr. Sellis, the last time, please identify your source. Mr. Chairman, may I be allowed to answer? Um, Mr. Chair, this is the fourth time I asked Mr. Sellis this question. And every time I asked him this question, ang laki ng introduction, wala pa rin yung sagot. Pwede po ba this time, pag pinagbigyan, na, pinagbigyan natin sa magsalita, sabihin niya na po yung pangalan. Kasi, kung maging introduction na kayo, tapos si Sight na naman, eh, dinis, dinisalaw ko na. Siya sabi ko na hindi na namin kaya tanggapin niya sa otolo for these particular uh, issues and we provided the basis for that too sa mga binigkas yung provision doon kung mismo hinugot ko yung argumento namin. Okay. Ngayon, kung hindi ko yung sasagot, we will not allow you anymore. Kasi, nagre-request si David, si Congressman Suarez ng kasagutan pangalan ng kailangan niya. Okay. Mr. Chairman, may I be... May ko kayo mo ng pangalan o hindi? May I request that I be allowed to confirm in my legal counsel, please? 
Oh, they're right. They're right beside you. They can confer. Yeah. May I request for at least yes. a one minute conference with them? Please. Okay. Okay, please proceed. Our democracy, the only the courts can interpret the laws, not Congress. Okay. Shall so I, I will not answer that question because I believe Congress does not have the right to interpret laws. Okay. Is it shared? Is it shared? Congress to call laws does not interpret laws. Mr. Chair. Uh, I make up my, uh, my statements. Mr. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Okay, this Mr. is the Honorable Toby Chanko. It's recognized. Mr. Chair, in the sense of fairness, um, since we really want to know the source, para malaman natin kung ano talaga yung pinagkakalat nito, would we allow um, ka, uh, Mr. Celis, ka Eric, to reveal the source in executive session? Would the chair allow? Yeah. Yes, uh, ka Eric. It's an executive session, an option for you. There's a suggestion by the Honorable Toby Chanko of Navotas na kung ayaw po sabihin sa harap ng uh, camera at sa publiko, okay lang ba, executive session? We will call for executive session now para lahat po ng options ay binigay na po namin sa inyo. Kairik? That would be very dangerous for other media practitioners present here because it will create a very dangerous and negative precedence on the protection of source provided by law. I will refuse to. Salamat. Mr. Chair. The Honorable the Honorable Toby Janko still recognized for a follow-up question. No, I just wanted to manifest that the reason that we're Mike. suggesting an executive session is to show na tayo naman, hindi naman tayo we, we, na binibigyan natin siya ng pagkakataon na i-reveal kung talagang gusto niya pangalagaan at least an executive session. But it seems ayaw niya pa rin po, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, it is very clear that Mr. Celis does not want to answer the question to reveal the source, whether in this inquiry or in, in executive session. So therefore, Mr. Chair, under Section 11, the power to contempt, letter E, grounds for contempt is for a resource person Refusal to answer any relevant inquiry. Actually, Mr. Chair, Mr. Salis has already violated two provisions of Section 11. The first one, acting in a disrespectful manner, and the second one, which is very more important, rather, is his refusal to answer the question in a relevant inquiry. On this note, Mr. Chair, I move to contempt to, to cite for contempt, Mr. Celis, for on these uh, two grounds under Section 11. So move, Mr. Chair. Second the motion. There's a motion. Uh, you yes. seconded. Any objections from any member, Mr. Chairman, of this committee? There being no objections, on a unanimous vote, the... Uh, Eric is uh, cited for uh, Mr. Chairman. May be recognized as the sergeant of arms to please uh, Mr. Take uh, on Mr. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Can he? Uh, can we request the sergeant at arms to practice his uh, responsibility after the hearing? Because there's still uh, other uh, details that Mr. Chair. No. Mr. Chair. By the order. Uh, the motion was for Mr. Sedis to be cited in contempt. And I think there's supposed to be a second motion. Yes. No, the, uh, the, the motion should be for him to be incarcerated, uh, detained. Where? Because under our law, the contempt of the committee shall be deemed contempt of the House. The person cited in this section may, upon order of the committee, the be detained in such place as the chairperson or acting chairperson may designate. In other words, uh, we have to decide where to detain him. 
and for how long, Mr. Chair? That's supposed to be the second motion. Mr. Chair, I believe with regards to the duration, it will be up to this committee to decide and of course, to Mr. Salis, kung kailan po niya sasagutin yung tanong natin, and then maybe we could lift the contempt. But as long as hindi pa niya sinasagot yung tanong natin, the contempt will remain. Allah. Sana inamin niya na lang, siya na lang ang source. My goodness. Mr. Chairman, final statement, ipon niyo po kay Kulong. Mr. Chair, I move for a... Can I have a final statement, please, sir? Before po ako magpapakulong, I have... I request the committee. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. In an earlier motion, Mr. Chair, we have already approved to cite for contempt, Mr. Sellis. In this note, uh, on this note, Mr. Chair, I move to detain him in the premises of Congress mm -hmm. as per our uh, rules on Section 11. So move, Mr. Chair. The motion... Ko. Dapat kasi inamin niya na eh. Na siya na lang ang source. Baka pagpatawarin pa siya eh. Nako. Chairman. 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 Members of the committee may be given one minute. Chairman. 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 Because they just require the Honorable Paduano. The Honorable Paduano is is recognized. Mr. Chairman. Ah. Ang ano lang, point of inquiry lang. Kasi we are not allowed to have a detention for indefinite period of time. So we have to, to, to establish how long. And the lifting of such detention will depend on the members of this committee. Act, of course, with the uh, cooperation of the person in contempt. So we have to establish how long. Because we are not allowed to detain indefinite based on so many jurisprudence, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, we have one up is recognized. Yes. There is a decision by the Supreme Court that we cannot detain the person indefinitely. And therefore, uh, may I move that uh, we come up with a definite uh, period for detention in so far as Mr. Sellis is concerned. Violation of paragraph C of section 11 of the rules. Dapat kasi nagdala ng abogado ito si Ka Eric eh. At kung inamin niya lang ito na siya ang source, baka patawarin niya siya. Would you honor Bola, ako, Tiko, would you like to make a motion? Allah. May I move that Mr. Sedis be detained for being cited in contempt for violation of Section 11, Paragraph C, refusal to answer any relevant inquiry by the members of this committee for a period of 30 days. Allah. Isang buwan, my goodness. Mr. Fiamman. Ibig sabihin, Mr. President. He will go on break on December 30 unless he finds a motion for reconsideration. We have done this in the different committees already. Mr. Fiamman, there's a motion. Allah, doon magpapasko si Kairi. The reason why we cited Mr. Sellis for contempt is because he does not want to answer the question. That is precisely why he violated paragraph C. So why will we give him a timeline? Eh kung kahit na hindi pala siya sumagot, papalabasin natin si Mr. Sellis. The reason why we cited him for contempt, eh gusto nga natin, nasagutin niya yung relevant inquiry natin, inquiry natin, nasagutin niya kung sino yung source niya. So I, so I believe that we should not give a timeline, Mr. Chair. Uh, after oh, oh, Mr. Chair, the jurisprudence, uh, Mr. Chair, I submit to the wisdom of this committee. Mr. Chairman. 
So yun guys, courtesy ng House of Representative. Ang mali lang ni, Kuya, ni Ka Eric, dapat inamin niya na lang, siya na lang po ang source, gawa-gawa niya na lang, baka sakaling pagpatawarin uh, pa po siya, ta huming isa ng paumahanin sana sa harap nila. Hindi, hindi ganun eh, kasi hindi uubra yung sutulo na sinasabi niya, nako. So yun guys, ano, mm -hmm. eh, mag-comment lang po kayo kung ano masasabi niyo dito. Eh, yan, ang, yan po ang nangyayari, no? Uh, mahirap ang magpapakalat ng fake news. Alam niyo po kung anong ugat niyan? Nandahil lang po yan sa confidential fund. Kasi kababanat nila kay uh, Speaker of the House. So, you, see you guys, so you guys, see you again on my next live on upload videos. Bye, 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 and babus. Eh, ganyan talaga ang buhay.